Subject is receiving divine healing. And this is part five. James chapter five had been our text, verse 13 to 16. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. In the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Very, very quickly and briefly, receiving divine healing. Our objective is to understand how to receive divine healing, what it entails to receiving divine healing. We say throughout the services today that divine healing is available as a provision of God for his people. It is available. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 26. 30, 26. Say moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of their wound. So God binds up the brokenhearted and he heals the wounds. Be it physical wounds, emotional wounds, psychological wounds, career destiny wounds. He is a healer of the wounds of his people. The question is, where health is challenged? Because our normal realm is to live in health. According to what we saw last week, Sunday and then Wednesday, the way of divine health. 